Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled among rolling hills, there lived a renowned Zen master named Shiro. His wisdom was known far and wide, and people traveled from distant lands to seek his guidance. Shiro's teachings were simple yet profound, and he often spoke about the importance of emptying the mind to attain true enlightenment. One sunny morning, a young man named Hiro arrived at Shiro's humble dwelling. Hiro had heard tales of the Zen master's wisdom and was eager to learn from him. With a humble bow, Hiro approached Shiro and said, Master Shiro, I have come seeking your guidance. I wish to empty my mind and find inner peace. Shiro welcomed Hiro with a warm smile and gestured for him to sit. You have come seeking to empty your mind, Shiro began. But first, we must understand what fills it. Tell me, young one, what occupies your thoughts? Hiro pondered for a moment and replied, I am burdened by worries about the future. I constantly think about what lies ahead, my career, and my family's well-being. I am unable to find peace because my mind is always racing. Shiro nodded in understanding. Many are like you, Hiro. They fill their minds with worries and anxieties about the future, which prevents them from truly living in the present. Let me show you a path to emptiness. With that, Shiro led Hiro to a serene garden behind his cottage. The garden was a masterpiece of simplicity, with meticulously raked gravel and carefully placed stones. In the center stood a small, empty wooden bench. Sit here, Hiro, Shiro instructed. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Imagine that your mind is like this empty garden. Release your worries and let your thoughts drift away like leaves on a gentle stream. Hiro followed Shiro's guidance, taking deep breaths and letting go of his worries one by one. At first it was challenging, for his mind was accustomed to the constant chatter. But with each breath he felt a bit lighter, as though a weight was being lifted from his shoulders. As the sun began to set, Hiro opened his eyes and looked around. The garden seemed more beautiful than ever, and he felt a profound sense of peace that he had never experienced before. Master Shiro, Hiro said with tears in his eyes, I feel lighter, as though a heavy burden has been lifted from my heart. The garden so simple and empty has shown me the way to empty my mind. Shiro smiled and patted Hiro's shoulder. Remember, Hiro, the mind is like a garden. To cultivate inner peace, we must clear away the weeds of worry and anxiety. Emptiness is not a void. It is a space where new possibilities can take root. Over the following weeks, Hiro continued to visit Shiro, learning more about the art of emptying the mind. Shiro taught him meditation techniques and shared stories of his own journey to enlightenment. Hiro practiced diligently, and each day his mind grew clearer and more serene. One day, as Hiro sat in meditation by a tranquil pond in the garden, he noticed a group of children playing nearby. They laughed, chased butterflies, and marveled at the beauty of the garden. Hiro realized that, for the first time in years, he was truly present in the moment. He had emptied his mind of worries, and in doing so, he had discovered the joy of simply being. Hiro thanked Shiro for his guidance and prepared to leave the village. Before he departed, Shiro gave him a small, empty wooden box. Take this with you, Hiro, he said. It is a reminder of the emptiness you have found within yourself. Whenever you feel burdened by the worries of the world, open the box and let them go. With deep gratitude, Hiro left the village, carrying the empty box with him wherever he went. Whenever he felt his mind becoming cluttered with worries, he would open the box, symbolically releasing his anxieties into the emptiness it represented. Years passed, and Hiro became a wise and respected teacher in his own right. He shared Shiro's teachings with others, helping them find peace in a world filled with distractions and concerns. And each time he shared the story of the empty garden and the wooden box, he emphasized the profound lesson he had learned. Emptiness is not the absence of something. It is the presence of peace. To empty your mind is to let go of the burdens that weigh you down and to fully embrace the beauty and simplicity of the present moment. In that emptiness, you will discover the true essence of life. And so the story of Hiro and Master Shiro's teachings spread far and wide, touching the hearts of those who yearned to find the path to inner peace. It served as a reminder that, in the midst of life's complexities, one can always return to the simplicity of an empty mind to discover profound serenity and joy.